Hello, and here we are in a very friendly part of Germany, the southern part of the country, at the VWK Arena in Augsburg. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. It is Augsburg facing Borussia Dortmund. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And now the starting 11 for Augsburg. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4-4-2, and it can still be a very good system but it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers and the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations. Let's hope they play it well today. And introducing the Borussia Dortmund side, Thomas Meunier plays with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Julian Brandt plays alongside Mahmoud Dahoud in the centre of the pitch. And handed the task of playing up front is Erling Haaland. And so the battle commences. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking it to come, you would think. Well, the referee's stamping his authority on the situation. He's decided to book him, Stuart. Well, you can't get away with that, even this early in the game. That's a bad challenge. And he did what he had to do defensively. Iago. Vargas. And the flag has gone up. Offside. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-tubes around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. Oxford, and it's with Gregoric, in with a chance, oh denied by the keeper. Well what more can you say, that's goalkeeping at its very best. Dahoud, the ball with Marco Reus, and Borussia Dortmund in a position of menace. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next, and perhaps a goal from this free kick. goalkeeper's best friend well they're certainly getting closer you just sense that the goal is coming they're playing so well at the moment oh 
Good work by the keeper. Now they've lost it. Rice. Gregoric. Niklas Dorsch. And it's with Gregoric. And the keeper there to deal with it. And he's fired over the corner. Well, it has come to nothing. And able to get a body in the way. And this might not be the ideal situation for them. Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. Regained possession. They've lost the ball, Dortmund. Arne Meyer. It is a decent looking attack here. Well, they just couldn't make it happen. Oh, lovely ball. And Bellingham. Well, couldn't keep it. Agne Meyer. This looks more than decent. And fired against the crossbar. Well, no danger now. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Oh, he could be in here, Derek. And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely! Well, let's have another look because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. Well, Dortmund get the ball moving again. That goal certainly should shake them up a bit. Han, Gumni, Maya. Now they stopped them in their tracks. Hummers. The ball with Marco Reus. Robbed them. Oh, lovely incisive pass. and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time and no nonsense defensive clearance now counter attacking possibilities here the hood playing with purpose and control oh did so well to deny him
So the corner played into the box. And a struggle to get it away properly. Well, body in the way. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Body in the way again. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Iago and room now out on the wing but nothing comes of it well it's a really poor challenge now what's the referee going to do about it and a yellow card for that Stuart and he's going to have to be careful now that was a silly challenge Bellingham, Manuel Akanji, Brandt with it, Holland, oh good save, Let's see about the delivery. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. And problem solved for now. Bumni. And the pass over hit. Good looking ball. And he's broken free. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. Failed to keep hold of it. Well, there it is. The hosts haven't had that much of the ball. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Excellent defending. And Borussia Dortmund in a position of menace. And still danger here. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. in the way well they've won themselves a corner and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security <laughs> there has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches And over it comes. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. Holland. And they need to get tighter here. Dortmund have been awarded the free kick by the referee. Well, just a warning on this occasion. 
might have decided to hand out the yellow card. Substitution it is for Dortmund. And that was a free kick hit with genuine authority. Well, you have to say that's a really good strike. Had that been on target, the keeper might have had a problem. Failure to keep the ball on the part of Dahoud. Arne Meyer. Regain possession. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Nico Schulz. An encouraging move from Dortmund. Well, that's not watertight defending. Determined defending. Perfect example of how to put in a tackle. And a corner will be next. And Dortmund will go to the bench. Who can they pick out? Well, tremendous block. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Gregoric. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff gives it a go! A really good stop at a critical stage. Well, had that gone in, there was no way back. Not much time left now, though. And a substitution in the offing. Delivering it. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Diago. Maya. And blocked for now. It's a perfect challenge. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. message delivered from the referee to the fourth official three minutes on the board he might be able to profit from the wide position time really is of the essence what can they do from this situation the corner played into the box well as a defender that will sit you down to the ground and there it is the final whistle and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces well Derek it was a tight game both sides had their moments and chances but overall they just about shaded it a well-earned victory
Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stewart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.